morning everyone looks like we have a little bit of snow coming down today got a little dusting last night and it is coming down pretty good at the moment so we're gonna go let the chickens and ducks out and take a look at our winter wonderland just a teeny bit of weight and it's already starting to break loose so i think that steep angle is going to keep anything from sticking up there Put up a little hoop last night. Dee Dee was kind of making things a little nicer for the ducks in the snow and the chickens. They got a little shelter if they want to come outside of the coop. This is um, it's just like a I don't know. I think where I get it, they call it a critter mix. Black oil, sunflower seeds, corn. I don't know what else is in there. and the ducks both love it. There he comes. One brave little duck. There we go. There we go. Figure it out. Maybe those chickens are smarter than me and going, what in the world are we doing outside here? Hey guys, it is a nasty day out here today, so I've got to uh, do something not quite as nasty, but not something very fun. I'm gonna go climb underneath the house for a little bit. I gotta lay down some bisqueen, and I uh, gotta do a, a little bit of plumbing as far as uh, adding hot water to the washing machine and adding water for uh, the refrigerator for the ice maker. So, buttoning up a couple things underneath the house, getting it uh, all uh, ready to go, thankfully, to. Uh, uh, to be winterized and uh, not be freezing. Last year it was just open underneath there and so the air would just flow underneath there and uh, not the best of um, best of things you know for freezing pipes and that kind of stuff. We made it through unscathed um, but this year we have a foundation wall under it and we're gonna get uh, that insulated and buttoned up so this is part of that process. back to the underside of the house. It's been a while since we've been under here, uh, but not long enough. <laughs> not my favorite, but I do have a lot of stuff that needs buttoned up. So right now I'm getting the Visqueen laid out. Need to get cut out around uh, some of the posts and wiring stuff coming in. So just a simple box knife, just getting it laid out to keep a vapor barrier down here. Especially since we've got the side in closed now, it's gonna be very important. All right, getting the last of the garbage cleaned out from underneath the cabin. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff, an old window, a bunch of blocking and pieces of wood and stuff that, well, I don't really wanna leave it in there and just roll the uh, plastic over it because then it's terrible to crawl on. So getting everything cleared off the dirt so that we do it right the first time. A 20 foot chunk of rebar some beams all kinds of stuff still under there we got a lot of stuff cleaned out earlier over the last year or two um, and this is finally going to be cleaned out completely which feels good just realized that my face is super dirty 
this is all the dirt and dust that's boiling around in there that's thankfully not in my nose so yeah that's pretty cool huh oh yeah All right guys, got all this cleaned down, which makes it nice for crawling. I am now moving on to fixing up, uh, finishing up some plumbing stuff. So. so I'm just, so I'm just tying into the main line. I'm feeding our um, refrigerator and our washing machine, the hot line to the washing machine and cold line to the uh, refrigerator. So anyhow, just getting that tied up here. Uh, quick, easy, tying into the main line, not much to it, running line up.